Fractal art is an artistic movement that began in the 1980s, which uses fractal algorithms and computer-generated images to create works of art. In order to understand exactly what fractal art is, one must first come to understand fractals. A fractal is a geometric concept that uses an algorithm to plot points in a repeating pattern in such a way that a given portion of the fractal can be equivalent to the whole. This concept is known as recursive self-similarity. The earliest records of the idea of recursive self-similarity trace back to the 17th century polymath and philosopher Gottfried Leibniz. Leibniz, however, was only able to provide a straight line as an example. When a line is represented in two different scales of equal ratio and position of origin, the lines appear to be identical, even if the domain and range displayed are not equivalent. While this example is not particularly mind-blowing, it introduces the idea of self-similarity, which is key to understanding fractals. Nearly two centuries later, Karl Weierstrauss presented the Weierstrauss function, which was in every place continuous, but in no place differentiable. The function, which was described as the sum of the Fourier series, also showed self-similarity. If one zoomed on the lowest point, they would find that at the point, the pattern of the whole was repeated. And as one continued to zoom on the lowest point, it could see that it was continuously repeated again and again the closer you got. Weierstrauss's graph was one of many what became known as mathematical monsters that were created during the late 1800s and early 1900s. They were called this because they became problems that the majority of mathematicians avoided. These monsters would eventually be named fractals in 1975 by Benoit Mandelbrot after he discovered a new, significantly more complicated fractal, known as the Mandelbrot set, while playing with graphing on the Gaussian plane. With the aid of computers, fractal research skyrocketed, and there were applications found in a variety of fields. Fractals help medical doctors to better understand the geometry of the lung through its continual branchings. Through the development of a measure for roughness, measuring the coastlines has become more precise. Along with many scientific uses, Fractals have helped bridge the gap between mathematical images and realism. Fractals are frequently used in graphics programs and CGI to create noise, clouds, bump maps, lighting, as well as standalone images. Artists quickly took to the beauty of fractal images, and they are commonly used in postmodern pieces through layering. Whether it be used to create a background image, or used as the primary focus, the image's impossible complexity catches the eye of every viewer. When used as the primary focus, they are often animated to show more of the fractal. 3D fractals have been used for camera fly-throughs as well as animated through mutations. Fractals also have a strong philosophical appeal. Carlos Ginsberg takes advantage of this when he creates pieces which depict what he calls Homo fractalis. He describes Homo fractalis to be the fractal human being, where the totality of life is also present in the detail. While his works are not perfectly mathematical, they mimic the complexity, roughness, and self-similarity of fractal images. Another artist, William Latham, developed a method of creating computer-generated artwork called evolutionary artwork. Evolutionary art takes computer-generated images, such as fractals, and ranks them for aesthetic value, then randomly decides which images survived, based proportionally on the aesthetic values. The survivor's underlying codes are combined in pairs in the step called breeding. The new population is ranked again based on aesthetic value and the process repeats itself. As long as digital art continues as an artistic media, fractal art isn't going away. Even if the focus is drawn away from the fractals themselves, they will be hidden in every generated cloud and mountain, aiding the artist to bridge the gap between the hard surfaces of the computer-generated imagery and the rough perfection of nature.